Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's talk about factoring using the GCF. And um, let's just remember this. Uh, there's a couple steps. And so basically, remember GDL. You're going to find the greatest common factor. Then you're going to divide. And then you're going to lead with the greatest common factor. So let's get started with this example. And I'm going to move this up. And so here we go. First thing we need to do is find the greatest common factor of 4a7 minus 16a to the fourth. Okay, so I like to use a factor tree in order to find the greatest common factor. So uh, let's get started. Okay, to speed things along, I went ahead and completed a factor tree and I wrote the um, prime numbers in this box. And the rule is, is since we have two numbers, if there's two in a column, you bring it down and then you multiply. We do not bring the three down because there's not two in that column. And then if you multiply this, four, eight, it's 16. Now, many of you could have just said, okay, I know the common, uh, greatest common factor of the coefficients is 16, but I wanted to show how you can find that. Now, but we aren't finished, okay? So let's write 16. And then what we do is we find for com we look for common variables. We have a and a, that's common. And then we take the smallest exponent, and that is 4. So now we have the greatest common factor of these two. Now what we do is we divide, okay? So I'm going to, so it's not confusing looking, 48a to the 7th divided by 16a to the 4th minus 16a to the 4th divided by 16a to the 4th. Now when we divide, let's go ahead and do this. 16 goes into um, 48 three times. Uh, bring down the a, and that will be 7 minus 4, so that's a to the 3rd, minus 16 divided by 16 is 1, and then these cancel. Okay, so now... We need to go back, so we've gotten the, G, the uh, greatest common factor. We have divided. Now we need to lead with the, co with the greatest common factor, and that is 16a to the fourth. So there it is factored. I'll circle. Okay, so the factored 48a to the seventh minus 16a to the fourth factor is this. Okay, let's work another example. Okay, remember, we're going to use G, D, L, greatest common factor, divide, lead with the greatest common factor. So now we need to find the greatest common factor of these two monomials. Okay, so uh, let's get started. I know many of you can probably glance and see that the greatest common factor is 9, but I'm going to create a factor tree just so you know how I found that. Okay, so here's the factor tree of 9, 3, and 3, and a 54. Prime numbers, I'll circle them. And then what I've done is I've written them in this box. And remember the rule is that if you have to have 2 in a column to bring the number down. So we have 3 and 3. So that equals 9. Now, uh, we need to go over here, and we need to... Um, find the variables. So we have 9, and so we have an x and an x, and the lowest um, exponent is 1, and then we have a y and a y, and the lowest exponent is 3. So here is the greatest common factor. So we have this portion done. Now let's divide. We have 9x squared, y to the fourth, divided by 9xy to the third plus 54xy cubed over 9xy cubed. So when we divide, 9 divided by 9 is 1. Uh, x, um, bring down the x. 2 minus 1 is 1. And then with the y, 4 minus 3 is 1 plus 9 goes into 54 six times. Uh, the x's cancel. The y's cancel. Okay, so let's put this in parentheses. Remember, you don't have to have the 
one in front of it. Now, remember, we can't forget, we've got to lead. We've got this done. We've got to lead with our um, greatest common factor. So that is 9xy cubed. So here is it factored. This binomial factored becomes this. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.